Hi guys! I just went to the art store, uh, art supply store, and got a few new paints. So I thought it would be fun to do like a little mini art supply haul. Um, yeah, so I'll just show you what I got and we'll see how it goes. So today I got two browns of my Windsor & Newton ink. I've had this one previously, but I've never gotten the nut brown. So I'm really excited to compare those and see what those are like. Um, I have been using this um, Royal Lank Nickel Essentials. It's actually it's gouache, um, but I've been watering it down as a watercolor for literally two years since I ran out of this when I lived in Hawaii and it's just chalky and I'm not very happy with it. Um, what I've been working on is, oh my gosh, I've been working on is this, which isn't horrible, but like, I don't know, the brown just feels chalky to me and also this fox, like his sweater and his colors feel chalky. So I really wanted to get these and see how um, it might change my painting a bit. For the fox, I thought it would be cool to try this brick red. So, well, I mean, just for other things in general. Um, and these bottles are about like $4-ish a piece. So um, not too bad and they last a really long time. And I'm really excited to try this blue. It's just called blue. Um, because what I have been using, which I do love, is um, this kind. And despite like the color on the front, it really comes out so like aqua-ish. Um, and this one, we'll see. But like, if you can see where the light's shining through it, it looks like a very true blue versus this one looks, I don't know if you can tell in the pictures, looks more aqua in comparison anyway. Um, so yeah, so we're gonna see how that goes. And then I'm really disappointed because when I got in the car and we're driving down the highway, I go to just look at my green and I realized that it's like stuck in there and I did finally get it out, but you can see it leaked in there and it's just like nothing basically. And it's all like hardened. So I don't know, I'm tempted to kind of use this a little bit because I really wanted to be able to use this. I don't know, it was $4. Maybe I'll just use this and then go back and buy another one. So um, anyway, but I will show you how they all work now. Okay, we're going to start with the peat brown. And I'm just going to do it straight out and not water it down at all and see what that's like. Of course, my brush has water in it. Okay. It's like a very oops, simple brown. I'm going to see also if I close this up tightly and then shake it if that makes any difference to paint a little bit of the watercolor too so you can see the difference. The, I mean the, the solid gouache stuff. Okay, and this is drying. You can see it's drying a little bit more yellow than it came out, but I do think that shaking it made it a little bit darker. So that's pretty nice. I mean, it creates a pretty even tone, which I like. Oh, I want to try nut brown. I'm gonna go ahead and give this one a shake before I even start. This is one I've never tried before, so I'm really curious. First impression is it looks a little bit more like chocolatey and like ebony reddish. Okay, interesting. Hmm, those are nice. I like these. I like how they're drying. I mean, look at just how smooth that is. I mean, and then that one I think will smooth itself out too. Those look great. This is like the gouache watered down. what it looks like and I mean it's not horrible but I just compared to these I mean those have so much richness so yeah I really like that okay I thought we'd try the uh 
brick red. Hmm, which at first glance is looking very red. I'm wondering how this is gonna compare to my um, scarlet red that I have. Oh yeah, it's way more red than I think I anticipated. Oh yeah. That's interesting. It's gonna dry lighter. Oh, I didn't shake it. It's gonna dry lighter than my scarlet red that I already have it is. Give it a little shake and see if that made a difference at all. I don't think it really made a big difference. How do I describe this color to you? Oh gosh, okay, good thing that was closed. How do I describe it? It's, well for one thing, it's a little bit more orange than it looks in the video right now. Um, it's like coral, actually, like, like a reddish coral salmon-y color when it's dried. Um, yeah. I do like it though. I like in these that you can see like a little bit of an undertone of a different color. Like you can see a little yellow there, a little like goldeny reddishness here, and then on this actually there's a little yellow too. But very interesting. All right, time for blue. I love that. It's so pretty. Okay. Ooh. Okay, yeah, I'm really happy with that because it's actually blue, it's not aqua or turquoise. It's really, really pretty. I'm gonna see if I water it down, like if I can get like a baby blue because that's kind of what I've been wanting. Yes, I can, oh my gosh. Guys, I've been using my blue Copic marker for this reason for so long because I haven't been able to get that color by mixing. I've had to add like purple to my turquoise, so. That's really nice. I'm really happy with that. Now, here's a question. Do I use this and just go get another one? Let me just stick my paintbrush in it and see if like I can even get anything from it. It's very sticky when you're trying to open it. It's like gummed up. Ooh, yeah. gummy stuff. Oh, that's interesting. It's a way different color than I thought it was gonna be according to the pictures. Now, of course, some of this could have kind of like evaporated out the yellow that it had in it. Oh, see, look, I just got that bit from the tip of the jar and it's like a yellowiness. Ooh. <laughs> Darn it, I like this. I wish that it was like actually the color it was supposed to be. Cause it looks like it basically like on the rim it has this more what you think of as like an emerald green well i think i don't know more yellowy dark green and down in there is like that turquoisey color oh wow well maybe i'll just make do with this as best as i can and then go get another one because i mean you know i don't want it to just get thrown out so anyway Thanks for watching guys. I hope that was interesting for you as it was for me. Have a great day.